All across England is a glorious collection of stately homes owned by the National Trust, each with their own horticultural experts like Alan Champion at Scotney Castle Gardens. Scotney um, has been one of the gardens that's been allowed to develop very naturally. Um, lots of native trees and species have been left. We propagate our own rhododendrons and azaleas for this garden because a lot of them, we haven't got names for them. And they were planted anything up to you know, 100 years ago or so. So the only way to keep them true and keep them here is to do our own cuttings. Yeah. This is the Brachiosaurus. And the feet, the actual print, comes down three toes like that. And this is the heel right around here. That's it's a pretty big foot. Pretty isn't big it? beast, wasn't it? Yes. They're about 18 foot tall, um, not huge. And I uh, say lots of them. The next footprint is about um, 10 feet away, um, the next stride pattern. Right, and then you've got the ripples over there. All the ripples where the sea came in, all what's left of the beach. Jeez. It's rather nice that when they did do the quarrying, they found these and left it. Right. Scotney Castle is near Tunbridge, as is Bayham Abbey, tucked away on the River Tees. It was built in 1208 and later was destroyed during the Reformation. You find that a lot of great abbeys were built in very remote regions and that's because and the monks looked ultimately for seclusion and uh, privacy. They would always give a traveller a bed for the night and somewhere to stay, but uh, over the years they did become very corrupt until it got to the stage of uh, during the, the late Middle Ages where you could actually buy a little docket that would save you from purgatory. Or you could buy two and save your parents who had died 10 years before from purgatory as well. And then you had the, sort of the stirrings of the Reformation. For more information, visit our website on topoftheworld.net.